Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi. We're kind of in the middle of this vlog right now, where I'm sat right now, we're in the middle of it. But I realized that I didn't really film a proper intro and tell you guys what is going on here. I'm currently sat in Marseille, and that is what you're gonna see in this vlog, is that I'm coming to Marseille for a gynae conference. It's the European Society of Gynecological Endoscopy uh, Congress. It's their 33rd Congress here in Marseille. And I've come to present um, two pieces of research that I've done. Um, one where I was kind of like the main lead on it. The second one was one that I was a part of, but I wasn't the main lead on. But anyway, regardless, I'm so happy to be here. So happy that my research got accepted to be a part of the conference to present. And yeah, watch along for the vlog. I hope you... Okay guys, I've finished day one on my conference. Let me take off my badge actually because I don't want people outside to know my full name. Um, okay, I feel like I have a lot to debrief you on. Let me get to my hotel because I literally have all my stuff with me. I haven't even gone to, like I changed in the airport. My makeup has been on since the plane. So, yeah, and this roundabout is really giving me mash head. I'm gonna film it when I get onto the roundabout so you guys can see what I'm on about. But any of you who've been to Iran or are from my beautiful city of Mashhad, this is giving Maidun Ahmadabad. And I think it's also the high rise building is giving me Hotel Homa. Wait, I'll show you. These ballerina shoes of mine are from Mango and they are so uncomfortable. The back of them digs into your feet. So tomorrow I might wear trainers. Yeah, see, crickets, it's giving me mash head. Oh, it's pretty here though. Like, I don't I don't know if I ever would have come to Marseille, like, fought to come here if it wasn't for this conference. It's so nice to come to a new city. So here is my hotel room tour this is my bathroom area this is the bedroom and if you look this way you can see into like the sink and stuff which i guess is cool 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not obsessed with this hotel room, but I feel like I'm just in a weird mood. Let me let me talk you guys through my first day at this conference. So basically, wait, I actually need to put my phone on charge. Let's let's dig in here and find my charger inside of this bag that keeps on giving. Found it. So basically, I got to the conference and this is my first like conference that I've come to. And first of all, I would say it's really daunting and overwhelming when you don't know what to expect. Like I kind of think I in my head, I kind of pictured like a lecture re kind of vibe scenario or whatever. But when I first walked in, obviously there's like all of these companies that I showed you guys that are like showing the products or things that they want to advertise and obviously there's people from all over the world in the UK like in the NHS it's a bit more I think like regulated like what you can use and can't use and like depending on the NHS budget whereas like in other countries obviously you can buy whatever you want like I think if you are like maybe like from Iran which I saw some people were from Iran at this conference and I was so proud um you can just like buy these things so obviously there's these people here who are trying to sell you their products or their gels that minimizes adhesions or like their robotics machine that are like millions of pounds and you know they'll come up to you and they'll talk to you and they'll be like do you use this in your practice and I'm literally like I've been practicing for one year I don't know if we use this because I haven't even done that type of operation yet you know I feel like everyone, not everyone there obviously, like there are people who are trainees or whatever, but like I feel like everyone that was there that was doctors were kind of a bit more ahead in their career than me who's only been doing ONG for one, only done one year of training so far in ONG. So I think that kind of just threw me off a little bit. And then, then what happened? Yeah, there was a lot like walking around and also I didn't know anyone and I felt like loads of people had come with people. Um, I met some, I ran into someone who I do know who's lovely but when I say I know her I went to a course where she was one of the instructors and she used to work at my old hospital so I like had a long chat with her at that course but have we like spoken outside of that one course? No. So. I don't know anyone here, so I just feel like all of it was overwhelming and now coming to a room that has a really small window is just setting me off, you know? I've got my laptop with me and I feel like I'm just gonna maybe open that, whatever we call this net thing that they're calling a curtain and we will take it from there. I'm gonna, I was gonna order room service but also I'm gonna sound like such a snob and don't hate me for this. Please, I beg you, don't hate me for this. But like, this was meant to be one of the top tier five star hotels in the city and it's the closest one to the conference center. So I was kind of like maybe expecting a little bit more, you know? And so now I'm a bit like, what's your food gonna be like? So now I don't know. And also my tongue swole up Guys, I'm sounding really negative, okay? I've had actually a really good, I've had a good day as well, like I've really enjoyed it. But basically, I don't know what I ate in the lunch that's made the back of my tongue really itchy and like like a bit like, it was a bit swollen and like now it's gone down the swelling, but it's just still left with like papilla and feeling itchy because I've got something called oral allergy syndrome, but I've had no fruits. So I don't know what it was, but Essentially, maybe it was like a bit of the nuts on the risotto is just agitating my tongue. I don't know. So I think that also made me really, really anxious because like you're abroad in a foreign country like by yourself. You don't want to be having a reaction. So yeah, I'm basically going to, I'm going to go to a pharmacy now and get an antihistamine just to like get rid of that papilla. Hopefully it can go away. I usually always travel with one and if my mum watches this vlog, she's going to tell me off for not bringing an antihistamine with me, but it is what it is. But yeah, anyway, long story short, it was a good first day. I enjoyed the talks that I did go to in the auditorium. That was really interesting and definitely like things that I have picked up that I will be focusing more when I go and watch procedures in theatres. So yeah, so far, low down the first day is, I really like Marseille by the way, the city gives me a hybrid of Paris and Lisbon. If any of you guys have been to either 
uh, or both of those cities and Marseille and think you agree with me let me know in the comments or if you can kind of give a comparison to the viewers on the channel let them know in the description yeah guys solo tripping it's going all right we're doing okay we've done well at the first conference day and yeah i am really really grateful to be here and have the, the opportunity to like also present my research so that's cool that's really cool yeah i'll pick the camera back up once i've come back from the pharmacy so i'm going to the spa to recuperate Good morning. Oh my god. Guys, I literally ate pasta in bed and watched Bob's Burgers whilst talking to one of my friends, Fade, for literally an hour. Let me brush my teeth and I'll come back. So, day two of the conference. This is my makeup, gone for something quite light and natural i'm doing another poster presentation today and i'm wearing this zara dress that was in my last vlog let me put the camera down and show you sorry the light's a bit weird here yeah. this is my dress i was gonna wear my ballerina pumps from mango but they're so uncomfortable so i'm just gonna wear my sneakers with it it's gonna be a look I don't care, <laughs> like I don't want my feet to be blistered over some ballerina shoes, so that is what we're doing. I feel like today, because I'm more oriented and know where I'm going, what's going on, what the layout is, etc, I will be a bit more chilled. So I'm excited for what's to come and there's loads of presentations, it's more like based on um, robotics and like endometriosis today so quite interesting and i'm excited to like see all these speakers from across the world because like they're so renowned and so niche in what they do i feel like in the nhs even if you're subspecialty usually you're not that niche whereas these surgeons seem to only do one thing over and over and over so it's quite incredible to like see and hear and also like hear about experiences from other countries by the way guys last night last night i ordered a vapianos and I ordered this, the penne arrabbiata with chicken. The chicken tasted like the worst chicken I've ever had in my life. It wasn't chicken. I thought it was like bits of like tofu. I was like, what is going on here? And the pasta was overcooked and the sauce was so spicy with just chili flakes. I was like, how can you get penne arrabbiata wrong? So anyway, I'm really hungry this morning. I'm going to get a coffee and then I think there's breakfast at the conference. So I'm going to eat something there too. So it's the end of the lunch break. The next talk is gonna start in nine minutes. Just come to the lecture theatre. I've got my coffee ready. I'm excited for this one because it's actually about fertility, this talk. Today has gone so well and I'm so much happier and enjoying the conference today and I've chatted to so many people and everyone's so friendly. So complete opposite of yesterday I feel like I was so overwhelmed yesterday and today I'm just I'm loving like talking to people who are from all over the world or even from different parts of the UK and doing the same job as me so and everyone here is like you know top of their field so it's such an honor to be here amongst them and um, yeah I'm enjoying it I'll give you a proper lowdown later on when there's no background music. So I'm just at the airport. I look so shiny, oh my god. Basically guys, the conference is over and I had a really good time. I think I really enjoyed after I gave my presentation because it was a chance for me to 
actually speak to people and then I met a group of ladies who were from Iran. I'd seen them the day before and it was so cool to like see like Iranian people around and chatting but their pastors said they were from the UK so I asked them like what part of the UK they're from and they were like no 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 like we registered from the UK website but we're actually like practicing OBGYN doctors in Iran they were like a girl group of four of them and I would say they were like a similar age to my mom it was so cool I took a picture with them but I don't know if I'm gonna post it because I obviously don't know if, if um, they would want me to but um, it was so nice to like meet some people who were my fellow countrymen just made me so proud to see them at this conference but yeah I think definitely meeting some people who I could speak to like I met some lovely doctors from the Netherlands who had loads of questions about my research and a, a few doctors from the UK and we just chatted on me and that was really good and I felt like yeah I needed to ease into it but you know this was my first conference I've got another one next month that I'm excited to be going to but again unfortunately I'm going by myself so maybe I'll ask around to see if like any of my other colleagues from like my previous hospital are going because it'll be really nice to just have someone to chat to you know I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope that you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like this video Subscribe down below, give me a comment of what you want to see next. Um, if there's any like, fun topics you want me to talk about, let me know and I will see you next time. Bye!